Hi everyone, I'm back and I'm so excited to record this video for you. This is my 26 week update and it's my very first pregnancy update. I hope to continue to document my pregnancy and show you guys what it's like to be pregnant with PCOS. Um, the first thing that I wanted to start off with is my symptoms. So one of the symptoms that I've been having is back pain. Uh, I work um, standing up all day so I'm kind of used to the back pain. It's something that I've had since before I got pregnant but ever since I got pregnant it's just gotten worse. So at night I try and do some stretches and I ordered a belly band so hopefully that um, helps me out too. I'll let you guys know um, what how that makes me feel with the with the belly band hopefully it helps out um, something uh, something else that's been going on is some really dry skin on my face right here at the bottom um, of my lip kind of weird and like around my nose it's very very dry and kind of flaky which is weird I thought I was gonna have like this amazing pregnancy glow but unfortunately for me I just got dry skin and um, Something else that I've been feeling is increase in appetite. I love eating breakfast. I cannot wait to wake up in the morning so I can wake up, go have my breakfast, and start my day with a good meal. <laughs> I get super, super hungry right now. Um, another thing is insomnia. So before I got pregnant, I did have a hard time kind of falling asleep and staying asleep. But now that I'm pregnant, it's gotten so much worse um, now that I'm get, heading into my third trimester. And I think it's because I have a hard time staying asleep because I'm so uncomfortable because of my back pain. And just like my stomach is starting to get really big, so it's just like in the way. And it's just getting really hard to, to sleep. And I think it's also because I'm really hungry in the morning so I just can't wait to wake up. I wake up super early now and I go have my meal and I get ready for work and I head off to work and two hours later I'm hungry again. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it for um, symptoms right now. Uh, I'm loving being able to feel the baby kick. I don't know about everybody else but for some reason my baby kicks so much. He kicks all day, all night, every couple of hours I will feel him just going crazy in there and I love it. Um, it's an amazing feeling. I hope that everybody who's pregnant right now at 26 weeks, I'm pretty sure you guys can feel that right now. If you're at 26 weeks, I definitely can. And I didn't start actually feeling him kick until I think I was 17 weeks pregnant. And I felt just like very very tiny little kicks and then I think two weeks went by and then I didn't feel him kick again yeah it wasn't till 20 weeks till I started feeling him kick again and then it wasn't till 23 weeks is when I started to feel him really kick like all day and all night <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys some products that I've been using throughout my pregnancy up till now um, the first thing was I got my prenatal vitamins and these are from Costco. I had some gummies that I used at the very beginning but I didn't like them so I switched to these ones um, and they've lasted me for a while so um, I like that. And they don't make me nauseous so <laughs> that's good too. I've been using this um, naturally refined organic coconut oil and I use it on my stomach sometimes but I also use it on my face because of that really dry skin I'm hoping to find something better because it's not really helping out that much I still have a lot of dry like it's flaky dry skin and it looks so ugly with my makeup I just want to hopefully get rid of that and then I got this from the grocery store actually I got it from the grocery store it's just the cocoa butter formula um, massage lotion for stretch marks and thankfully I haven't gotten any stretch marks yet I'm s it's still pretty early I'm only 26 weeks so um, I don't know if I'm gonna get those later on or if this is actually helping me out but 
so far I haven't gotten any stretch marks so that's good another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, my Ovia pregnancy app I think it's the best app out there if you're pregnant right now and you don't have that app I suggest you go and get it it's totally free um, it's really cool because this is it right here but it has a bunch of articles that you could read right here it tells you all about your baby what size your baby is um, the changes that they're going through it also has like a calendar feature so you can update and log um, important dates and stuff like that also it has a community section and you can literally talk to pregnant ladies all day so that's kind of fun um, I really like it I think it's the best one that I have I have three I have two other ones but that one's my favorite I wanted to show you guys some stuff that my husband and I picked out for our baby. I just thought this was super cute. We got this at TJ Maxx. I thought it was the cutest little sleeper. Uh, it has a little gray teddy bear and I just loved it. I um, And then my husband picked this one out. It's a little Jordan like little jumpsuit. I thought it was super cute. And then this is the back right there. <laughs> and we got this one at Marshall's. Love, 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 love both of those stores. They have the best deals. Some cravings that I've been having are super sweet things. Like I love candy. I love pastries. I love anything that has sugar in it and it's probably really bad for me to eat those things but I don't know sometimes I just have to give in and I usually don't eat sweet things um, I really like salty and like savory stuff but right now that I'm pregnant I just love to have um, pastries and candy and those kinds of things I do have a doctor's appointment coming up in a couple of days and I'm going to be doing my glucose test so they gave me this glucose drink. Um, they told me I have to drink it 40 minutes before my appointment and um, I'm kind of nervous to take it because everybody says it's super disgusting and that they didn't like it so I'm kind of nervous. I'll see um, how that goes and I'll let you know um, on my next video what the results are for of my glucose test. Hopefully everything's okay. I feel okay. I feel like if I did have um, diabetes, I feel like I would kind of have already felt the symptoms, but I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. So I'm going to end my video right here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to be back next week to let you guys know what's going on at 27 weeks.